What's up, everybody? This is Chris Joe from Recipe Joe's, and we're going to check out a video from a man Justin Wilson. He's cooking some gumbo. Now, I've tried gumbo in the like Zatarin's mix at the grocery store. Um, it's pretty good. I usually add like okra, um, sausage, chicken thighs. I like chicken thighs. Dark meat chicken is where it's at. I mean, white meat is okay, but dark meat is just so much better in my opinion. And my children, my wife love it. But I always wanted to make some authentic gumbo and sort of see how you go about doing that. So we're gonna check this out without further ado. You know how come the chicken crossed the road, huh? Uh, ready to run away from them Cajuns. I'll tell you right now, cause Cajuns will eat most anything and they love to cook chicken. They love to eat chicken. That's for true, I'll tell you that right now. And uh, today I'm gonna cook you some chicken gumbo we don't do it. And it that's a sausage that's a, that we make in Louisiana just for making gumbo. It's a gumbo sausage. It's spelled A-N-D-O-U-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. On do it. Anybody know how to spell that? I'll guarantee you. On do it. And it's a wonderful really sausage. Right so cheese. Sausage. It really is. Now, right now, at all, what I would like to do is just tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story before I get started. Because I like to did that. I like to... Justin Wilson always loves to tell stories. Um, really entertaining. We're going to skip a little bit. I'm going to get back to cooking. What I got you in this pot is what I'm going to tell you about how to make. I got some chicken. That's a, a baking hen that I'm going to use. Hope everybody's having a good day, by the way. Right here, I got the rest of the stuff I'm going to put on that. You don't have to put much on this, really and truly. I uh, you also got some saucisse right here too. That's a uh, gumbo sausage. Oh, first you, you make a roux. fire chicken. You know that. Also, if you wanted to do this recipe, more than likely, if you just lazy and don't feel like cooking and making a bunch of like chicken, and you could get a rotisserie chicken, take it, skin it, bust it up, and use that meat. That way, you have a mixture of white light. White and dark meat should be good. And to make a roux, I put about three quarters of a cup of olive oil in there. Olive oil. And I also, too, I put about a cup and a half of flour. You put about the... Also, um, Tony Saturns, I think that's what the name of that thing is called, in the grocery aisle uh, has a roux pre-made um, basically you just do your oil, I guess it's, I think it's just oil, and you brown it like you would any other type of roux, uh, that's already pre-made. I might try that. Stay tuned for that. I might do that. Let's keep Two going. to one. And you cook that until it's, until yeah, you take, it's almost black looking. That's going to burn, but that's not what it did. So you got to cook like Dutch chocolate right there, you see? That's so pretty. Stir them roux. That's the roux right there. That roux is, is I'm going to put the rest of the stuff on that roux and cook it in there a little bit before I put the chicken. I got one big onion. It's about a cup. One cup of onion, a large onion. Put that on the roux. Turn the roux up a little bit. Not much goes in, not much seasoning goes in chicken gumbo because it don't need much. You stir it into them roux. And you cook them onion until they clear. Or you think they're clear you now. You can't read the newspaper through them, but they look clear, you know. Oh man, that's a good rule. Oh, that's the kind I like to make sandwiches out of, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I say that all the time. Now, as soon as I get this going like this, get this over here like this, like that. Get those onion kind of clear. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna put Something else. Now, a lot of people, when they make chicken gumbo, they brown their chicken off. What we call brown off with brown off. And sometimes you use the grease where we brown them chicken off to make the roux. But I want to tell you, that's hard to do. It. So I don't do it that way, no. And also, too, it doesn't, it does, to me, it does not give the flavor to the gumbo. When you brown the chicken off, you, you lose some of the flavor of the chicken. 
So what I do is, when I get my onion clear in here and get a little juice, which I got a little juice already, I put my garlic, which is just one large clove of, clove of garlic, chop up real fine. And the reason I always wait like I choose, like I always told people. It's really good, but you gotta get hard to lose flavor if you don't get that. That wasn't overpowered and stuff. It's just because of the oils in that in it. Put it on there, and I got a few little things I got to put on here too. Like I use wine when I make my gumbo. I got four cup of sauterne and four cup of water that I'm gonna put on here. Sauterne wine. What I like to do is put my water first. I don't my drink. Rule. I Even in cooking, I don't really need fire up. alcohol. But again, a lot of that alcohol is going to be basically the alcohol is going to be burned that. off, and you're going to be left with sort of the put essence of the, the drink. Justin Wilson is famous. He doesn't look like not good to mix. How do you say? Don't don't cook with a wine that you wouldn't drink. I got that on there like that. The next thing what I'm going to do is put a little of my seasoning on there. Probably some intense like, uh, flavor. Two tablespoonful of, uh, how you call it, uh, Worcestershire, Lee and Perrin. A good Cajun yep, name. Got some of that, Harold. So he's done One, onions. He's measuring. Deux, two. <laughs> um, tablespoonful of them. Onions, how you garlic. Call Worcestershire sauce. Cook now, it down in the room. I'm going to put some, if I had my fresh hot pepper, I'd put that on there. But I don't got that, so I'm going to use Louisiana hot sauce. Now, okay. you can use this, or Tabasco. This is made from cayenne pepper. Tabasco is made well, from... For me, more. I probably Tabasco have to be careful pepper. with I use the both of hot I like sauce, because i got a young and what one you, you put as much doesn't as you really want do to. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put about a, so a teaspoonful and a little more on there. End up doing... Because I like uh, hot sauce. I think I'm going to put a little more. Put that on there, and you see that beginning to get hot. I might not know. Holding up at least a little bit. Just depends. Make them root. Oh, boy. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sausage in there. You're watching yes. Recipe Joe. My Ooh, name is you Joe. You smoke on that. That's good. We are checking out Justin put that Wilson on there. cooking chicken gumbo with Andouille sausage. And put some chicken. Now, it takes about one to two pounds of chicken. I got a little bit more than that in this bowl already cut up. And I'm going to put most of it in there. Hmm. But I want to be sure I got room, and I put the pieces I like most of all, which is all of the chicken. The drum leg, second joint. And when you cut up chicken for gumbo, you do it a little bit different than you do ordinarily for other things. Like this second joint there, I cut off part of the meat, put there, and I love the back. I think he's putting the chicken in there raw. The heart would go let it cook it down like for a too. long time. You got the flavor. Um, it's and probably I really the good. I have no doubt in my, my man Justin. Like it too. If you wanted to do this put quicker, I now. would go with the the roast history chicken. That ought to be Chicken's already done, cooked. Meat uh, on that and really still doing hold on to the pot. Reducing it down and let it you sort of to marry together as far as your flavors and Put stuff. Put this like down here, out of the way, these two. Stir that around a little bit. Get the mm. roux going good, and it's going good. And guess what? Four cup of sauterne wine. And the reason why I come, I quit putting them chicken in there. I want to be sure I get all the wine in there. And it do just that. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now I got to put some salt. And you got the salt to taste. Now you got a whole big chicken in there, and that's going to take some salt. Let's see. One teaspoonful. And I want to be sure I don't uh, lie to people about that's it. That's another famous thing Justin does. He can, he can figure out measurements just by looking at it. About two and a half teaspoonful of salt, and then after I let it cook a while, I'm going to taste it. What I'm going to do is going to taste that and see if it's Now, good. that no gumbo is going to have some really good flavor Stir because not only bit. are you cooking, you're cooking basically that all the come out of that all right, of just like it's supposed that chicken. Did all the time. And you're getting all of the yeah, juices, the marrow, the juices in the, bone from the bone, 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 bone marrow, light and dark meat this and today. white meat, you don't which is going to be really good. Put in your icebox tonight and tomorrow. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about an hour. 
And then eat that, because it tastes more better then. Whew, it always does. That's for true. It really does. Now, and when we serve this, we serve it with filet. Now, you notice there's no okra in this. It was not thick. But filet is the leaf of the sassafras tree. It is taken off the tree about the second or third week in September, where I live. And we pound it. We pound that, that sassafras leaf. Cool. So that was a short video of him cooking chicken gumbo. What we might do is end up taking his recipe and doing a gumbo of our own. And then I think that'll be maybe the next project that we do on recipe shows. So once again, thank everybody for checking it out. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, like, share, subscribe, go on YouTube. Type in Recipe Joe's all together. No apostrophe or anything like that. Recipe Joe's. Like, share, subscribe to videos that we got on there and content for you all. And we'll see you later. Peace.